All right, guys, welcome to Virtual Media Day 3. Up first, we have Miss Cindy. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We will go ahead and start off with... Hi, Cindy, how are you? Hi, I'm okay, how are you? Good, thanks for asking. Um, I just got a quick one for you. Um, so you went from fighting five times in uh, 2019 not fighting once in 2020. Um, I guess how um, like will the layoff affect your performance? Um, and I guess just how was how, how was the layoff? Well, I didn't really choose to have that layoff, <laughs> but then uh, Corona like locked everything down, and I got pregnant during during the lockdown. I grappled in my bed, I guess, um, and um, you know, so. Uh, it, it's actually it's good that I had a year off because I've been very busy in 2019 and sometimes I just like it, I went from one fight to another so I wasn't able to have like a really good fight camp uh, and then uh, this whole lockdown like gave me time to think about things things that are important in my life things uh, I wanted different uh, and I got like an all new perspective uh, on three with uh all the regular regularizations we have in belgium but i did it anyway so i think the push i had to give into this camp is gonna make me a better fighter overall awesome and good luck thank you up next head kick audio hi cindy this is steve from head kick audio how hi, you doing steve. i'm okay good deal good deal you're fighting the striking viking you're taking on caitlin young who's uh She's a pretty good striker, and you not so bad yourself, but you got a lot of submissions. Do you think that's going to be the difference in your fight? You can say it, not so bad myself. Well, um, she's a pretty good striker, and I'm a pretty good grappler. Uh, so it's um, let's see who get it, who get it in the area he or she, uh, who can get it in the area she wants, or if I can get it into my area, and I think that will make the fight. That will make. Uh, who is going to win if I can pull her into my world or if she can keep me into hers. Um, yeah. Not that was funny. <laughs> Thank you. Up next, Jake Foley, please. Hi, Cindy. Jake Foley from Overtime Heroics here. Um, winning the PFL championship can change a fighter's life forever. Now having um, a child recently, what would it mean to you to be the champion at the end of the season? It wouldn't change more than it would change before uh, because I already have uh, had five children. So, but it would give my life a way bigger comfort first of all and i would if i can win that million dollar i would love to use it to give my uh, children the say like bigger opportunities better opportunities to follow their dreams because um for me it was always a struggle uh combining working children the house uh the bills i've been mommy daddy fighter teacher uh everything together um because I had no help from uh, the daddies for my babies. So if I can win that million dollar, I would be able to support their career or their dreams. Uh, they wouldn't be having no struggles about, oh, I want to go to a fight camp. There is no money for that. I, I, I need new gloves. There is no money for that. It would make my life and my children's life a lot easier. So that's uh, something what I want to, that's what I would do with it. Next, Tanai. Hey, Cindy, how's it going? Hi, I'm okay. It's Tanai here from MMA Island. I wanted to ask you about your experience in the bubble in Atlantic City, and how does it feel making your PFL debut? Wait, what? One more time, what is your name? Um, Tanai from MMA Island. Tanai or Denai? Tanai. Okay, nice. T. Um, well, the life here in the bubble, well, um, it's been special. It's something else, um, but I, I liked it actually because um, normally I'm waking up. It's like, mom, 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 can you do this? Mom, can you do that? Mom, mom. And now I only have my judo buddy be like, hey, I'm hungry. Can we go to eat? So that's that's uh, 
that's something else. <laughs> so it gave me the opportunity to focus on what I have to do here and visual, visualize, sorry, language barrier hitting me again. I hope it doesn't hit that hard at skating. Um, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to miss the children, but it's good because I can focus. And how does it feel like to make your PFL debut? I'm so excited. Uh, I'm excited to be part of family and I'm excited to get this opportunity, excited to be still able in these hard times to uh, compete overseas. Like I think I'm the only Belgian one who's still being able to hunt her dreams. So uh, it's a blessing and I'm very thankful. Thank you, Cindy. We love your energy. Good luck on Thursday. Thank you. Thank you, Ronald. Ronald, I can't hear you for some reason, bud. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. There we go. My name is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real. Cindy, like everyone knows in 2020, a lot of things have happened. A lot of people have lost a lot of loved ones. Mm -hmm. You especially have lost someone recently. How are you able to keep yourself motivated and focused during the fight through everything that you are dealing with right now? Okay, it's a hard uh, subject. So my mom has been battling cancer. Um, sorry. <laughs> For a long time, uh, we knew it would, was coming and um, my wish was that she would be able to be at the birth of my baby as she was there and um, a little while after um, she passed away while I was in my training camp and um, that was really hard uh, to see uh, sorry <laughs> to have to say goodbye to your mom like that because um, she was in so much pain that they let her uh, sleep. And uh, so I had to say bye, mom. See you later, alligator. <laughs> and um, it was hard, I'm not gonna lie. It was, uh, it was hard to grab everything together and uh, show up in the gym every day. But uh, I for sure don't wanna disappoint her. And I know she sees me. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure she's, uh, she came with me here. So um, my grandmother kind of gave up when, uh, when my mom passed away. It was her only daughter. So four days ago, I got to know she also passed away in Belgium. So I guess I have an extra strong woman in my corner here. And um, whatever the outcome is, I know I gave it my all. I pushed every limit. I'm uh, going to do everything to make my children at home. And my mommy and my granny out. Thank you, Cindy, and sorry for your loss. She looks depressed. What's going on? Thank you so much, Cindy. I appreciate it. Let's uh, go with Breeze. Hey, Cindy, this is Breeze with the MMA Breeze. Um, just uh, wanted to ask you, you know, we haven't seen you perform in a while. We're all very excited. Uh, just like most fighters, you've had quite the layoff. What can we expect to see uh, new in your arsenal for this, uh, this next coming bout? What's going to be new in my arsenal is that I'm going to be fitter, sharper, and more motivated than ever. Well, thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Steve Irvine, please. Hi, Cindy. Thank you for your time. It's uh, Steve from uh, Steve Irvine MMA. I just wanted to ask, so, I mean, throughout your career, you've been fortunate to compete for the biggest organisations in the world. Mm -hmm. Now, you're here at the PFL. I just wanted to know, is this a place that you're going to call home now for the remainder of your career? Wait, what again? Is this a place that you're going to call home for the remainder of your fighting career? Um, you know... I'm getting older. I'm uh, I'm having six kids to take care of. I pay all the bills. I do everything myself. I try to run a gym and give children opportunity. And 
I'm so happy that uh, I'm in PFL in like a good organization where they care about us. Um, and this is going to be my, this is going to be the final steps in my career. After PFL, there's not, I'm not going to fight anymore. So I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to write my final chapter here. Oh, thank you very much and good luck. Thank you. Up next, Sergio. Hi, Cindy. This is Sergio from Fighter Path MMA. How are you? Hi, Sergio. I'm okay. So you're fighting Caitlin Young, who's also one of the most experienced uh, females in this tournament. Um, how do you think your experience matches up with uh, the rest of the competition? Um, you know, experience is something very beautiful as I don't really have a st the stress to fight. I... I can fight under big pressure, under big banners. I it I will not break. I know myself. I know my strength, and I'm pretty sure. And I'm really sure. Uh, I always admired Caitlin because she's been always there, and I've always watched her fights, and I've always thought she had exciting fights. And I think we match up on that point like exactly the same. So that is really nice. Um, what I really admire about Caitlin is like the quote, like fall down seven, stand up eight. Like she's been doing that and uh, I respect her a lot for that. Uh, and I've been through the same struggles and look at this. So many years later, we are here standing in front of each other face to face and we're going to have this epic war. Um, yeah. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you. Michael Morales. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Hi, I'm okay. Uh, thank you for being here and thank you for giving us part of your time. I wanted to ask you, what does uh, what would a victory uh, in, P in your PFL debut mean both to you and to your home country of Belgium? Well, to be honest, I don't think Belgium cares that much. But yeah, they just, I don't know. My country is built of idiots, mostly. <laughs> um, but the people who are in the sport, uh, for them it would be a big thing for sure for the females because we are not with that many. Uh, but the girls who are out there like work very hard to get opportunities. So for them it would, be, would mean a lot. And also for my daughter Lola, who is like being an MMA fighter herself and trying to push her limits, it would mean a lot. Uh, too. And um, I just want to show her that whatever comes uh, to her path, uh, like she will always have to push her limits. Uh, it's, uh, I want to be an example for her. Uh, so if you ask what Belgian think about it, I don't think they really care. But that little Belgian girl over there, she does care. And uh, that's way more important to me. Thank you very much and good luck on Thursday. Thank you. All right, up next, Mason, please. Hi, Cindy. This is Mason from the Sports Sesh podcast. How are you doing today? Hi, Mason. I'm okay. That's great to hear. Obviously, yourself and your opponent are both quite experienced within the MMA game. What makes you think that you can walk away with the victory come Thursday night? Um, <clears throat> I think I'm a better grappler. Um, and I think... I just needed a little more. I think I uh, I wanted more. I have more to prove. I, I've suffered a lot in this camp in the last year, actually. Um, and I think the depths I've seen going to make uh, me just want it more. Well, I can't wait to see you fight on Thursday night. Best of luck. Thank you. Mike Owens, please. Hello, Cindy. This is Mike from Mike Owens Media. Hi, Mike. When... Hello, how are you? I'm okay. That's good. When this fight was announced, you uh, opened as the betting favourite, uh, but the odds have now shifted and you're now the betting underdog. I'd just like to get your thoughts on that and if you're surprised by that at all. I don't like, um, how you say, I don't mind betting dogs or how you call it. Um, 
I have dogs enough at home. No, you know what? Um, betting underdog, betting up dog, betting. Up. I don't care. I mean, I thought Megan Anderson being the big, big, biggest underdog I ever been, and like I had not much work with her. I, I guess uh favorite or not favorite i i will not leave one night sleep of that um no i have not even one single thought about it actually i don't care superb best of luck for the fight thank you up next bobby Hey, Cindy, it's Bobby Whitney, Last Out Media. I just wanted to know, like, we all know you can grapple, we all know you can wrestle, but you'd also have that background in jujitsu and judo. Do you think you're going to use that to your advantage coming in the fight on Thursday? Well, that's the point. That's what I'm <laughs> going to try. You got me. You figured out my game plan, dang it. All right, up next, Bruno. Hi, Cindy. It's Bruno here from Jiu-Jitsu Magazine. How are you? Hi, Bruno. I'm okay. Try to be okay. Yeah, all of us, right? Uh, just like you, I'm uh, living here in, in Europe at the moment, and uh, we know how hard the regulations are in terms of uh, going to the gym, and uh, all of public life has essentially been shut down. Um, question being, how has this affected your training camp at all, knowing that uh, most of the gyms have been closed and it's been hard to get that work in? It's been really hard. <clears throat> My gym also was closed. Like, um, I've been training sneakily, as I told uh, you people before. Um, so normally in a fight camp, I have to make 145 or 135 pounds. So what I do is I train and I eat sneakily, you know? I eat sneakily ice cream. I eat sneakily chocolates. I'm like, no, I didn't eat that burger, but I did. And now I could eat whatever I want. And I trained sneakily. No, I wasn't in the gym. You're wrong. That are old pictures. So, yep, I trained twice a day and uh, sneakily behind uh, closed doors. Thank you very much for that, Cindy. And your secret is safe with me. Good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. Does anyone else have another question or two for Cindy? While we got her here. Go ahead, Tyreek. <laughs> hey, though, Cindy, this is Tariq with the Havoc Hour. How are you doing today? Hi. Well, I'm okay. So, um, obviously, you know, the real star of the PFL so far, at least in the women's division, is Kayla Harrison. Uh, is she someone that you're interested in fighting so far in the season, or would it not make a big difference to you? Of course, I would be interested to fight her. Um, we match up, uh, I think we have the same style. Her judo is probably better than mine, but I still have some slick grappling moves on the ground. Uh, so it would be interesting and uh, I'm here to fight whoever. So um, yeah, I think it sounds great. And also I respect her a lot. I feel like our lives are kind of had the same roots and she saw like almost like alike uh, situations. So I feel her, uh, I think we would have a, a good energy in the in the in the octagon or in the cage together. All right, that sounds good. All right, good luck on Thursday. Thank you so much, Cindy. Bye. I appreciate thank you coming you. out today. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.